NASA recently raised eyebrows in the space community with a significant shift in its lunar exploration plan. The core of the matter, a decision to sideline SpaceX's lunar starship landing. This move incited a flurry of questions. Is SpaceX facing trouble? What is NASA's game plan for future lunar missions? Stay with us until the end of this video, and we'll unpack all these questions and provide you with the answers you're looking for. The South Pole of the Moon paints an enthralling picture. Its vast mountains, perpetually bathed in sunlight, contrast with the darkness of deep craters. Within these craters lies water ice, preserved and undisturbed for an astounding three billion years. It's here on this desolate, gleaming landscape that NASA aspires to land its next astronauts. During the mid-1900s, the US and the Soviet Union raced each other to achieve major milestones in space exploration. This competition, called the Space Race, was a big deal for both countries. The Soviet Union launched the first satellite, Sputnik 1, and later sent the first man, Yuri Gagarin, into space. But the US took the lead when they sent astronauts, including Neil Armstrong, to the moon in 1969. The race cooled down after a while and both sides started working together on some projects. Now there's a new race to explore space, but it's not just between two countries. Many nations want to show their skills in space. For instance, Russia has recently sent a lunar lander to the moon to look for water. This is important because finding water could help people live on the moon in the future. But the spacecraft crashed into the moon yesterday, ending its bid to reach the lunar south pole. India is also showing its skills. They have sent a spacecraft called Chandrayaan-3 that's now circling the moon and looking for a safe place to land. As for the US, NASA is adopting a collaborative approach. Instead of going it alone, they're partnering with private entities. Notably, NASA awarded SpaceX the contract to return astronauts to the moon. However, NASA is on the brink of patience due to significant delays associated with this project. The mission, which was initially slated for December 2025, might now spill into 2026, adding a prolonged wait to this much-anticipated lunar exploration. Jim Free, NASA's Associate Administrator for Exploration Systems Development, voiced these concerns during a joint session back in June. At the heart of these concerns is the complex series of steps SpaceX must take before Starship can perform the Artemis III mission. The version of Starship that acts as a lander isn't just a one-time launch vehicle. It requires several stages of preparation. To begin with, every Starship lander mission doesn't just involve the main Starship lander launch. It also requires multiple tanker starships. These tankers meet the main starship in Earth's orbit to refuel it, making sure it has enough fuel for its trip to the moon. As Free pointed out, this initial phase before reaching the moon involves many launches. But before Starship can set its sights on the Artemis III mission, SpaceX has another challenging task at hand, an uncrewed lunar landing of Starship. This is in addition to demonstrating the crucial technology of cryogenic fluid transfer while in Earth's orbit. The mathematical complexity of these missions and the sheer number of successful launches required within a tight time frame is giving NASA officials some pause. However, the concerns are not just limited to scheduling and the number of launches. SpaceX's first takeoff with its Starship Super Heavy launch vehicle have been marred by issues. After its orbital launch on April 20th, the vehicle experienced multiple engine failures mid-flight, culminating in its destruction a mere four minutes after takeoff. NASA has naturally been a part of the investigation into this launch failure. Jim Free has been in touch with officials from the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, regarding the same. His conversations have stressed the overarching vision and journey towards achieving the human lander mission. While much of the spotlight is on SpaceX's challenges, NASA's Artemis program isn't free from troubles either. The Artemis II mission, a precursor to the highly anticipated Artemis III, is lagging. The Orion capsule's development is behind schedule, and there are concerns over the SLS rocket's assembly, casting doubt over their readiness for the subsequent Artemis missions. The U.S. has always had a friendly space race with countries like India and Russia, but when it comes to China, things feel a bit more intense. One big reason for this is history. For example, the U.S. didn't let China be a part of the International Space Station. Why? Well, they were worried about sharing important technology and about security. 
This is why the U.S. tends to view China's independent advancements in space as not just scientific achievements, but also as strategic maneuvers in a broader contest for global influence and technological superiority. Thus, for the U.S., ensuring the success of collaborations like the one with SpaceX is paramount, not just for space exploration's sake, but to maintain its leading position in this celestial competition. Moreover, China hasn't shown interest in joining the Artemis Accords, which is an agreement promoting teamwork in exploring the moon. This decision makes people wonder more about China's plans for the moon. The moon, especially at South Pole, is very important. There's water ice in its hidden craters, which could be used for rocket fuel or even drinking. With different countries wanting to use these resources, the competition is very strong. SpaceX's dedication to its mission is evident and resolute. The company isn't just stopping at infrastructure improvements either. Recent visuals from the aerospace community indicate that SpaceX is advancing with the development of Starship's life support system, a critical feature necessary for accommodating human crew members. Just last week, they submitted a comprehensive report on the first Starship launch, addressing potential concerns and detailing the technicalities of the mission. This report is an important step, as it signifies their readiness to move forward. However, an essential hurdle remains the Federal Aviation Administration license. The approval of this license is the final green light SpaceX requires to proceed with the eagerly awaited second launch. And if things go as smoothly as hoped with the FAA, space enthusiasts might be in for a treat, with the possibility of witnessing this monumental launch by the end of August. Adding to the growing anticipation, Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, has shared his optimism about the upcoming event. He estimates a 60% success rate for the Starship reaching orbit on its next attempt. If this prediction holds, the upcoming launch could mark a significant milestone in space exploration history. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more similar content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.